Okay, hopefully this will be a quick uh, update. Uh, like I said, I wanted to uh, now tune the uh, pulse width, the on time of the drive coil. And this was the width that I had, this wide here. And now I'm actually down to this wide. So it's very, very small pulse width. And uh, I've uh, increased the voltage a little bit. But, well, just about double the voltage than I was using when I first demonstrated this. And now the assist coil is uh, with a very specific timing position, uh, very, very sensitive on timing. Uh, the assist coil is participating uh, pretty well close to 50% now. So um, let me show you. Basically we are driving this with uh, 9 volts and uh, at 338 uh, milliamps. So pretty well uh, 3 watts. Uh, that's what this meter is also telling you here. Uh, it's a little bit off on the voltage. It's a little higher, uh, but the uh, it's just there as a rough reference, uh, but anyways, this is the math that we need to do, the voltage times uh, the point one, uh, three three six, and that should give you the uh, watts. That is the uh, scope shot, and this is our on time here, what you see here in pink, and then the flyback, the time, uh, the off time, this is our current uh, across our point uh, one ohm uh, resistor and this is our um, flyback charging our capacitor and our capacitor is a 35 microfarad capacitor and that is the current probe here uh, showing you the current being dissipated across the uh, secondary assist coil here. It's now in position, it's you know uh, tuned exactly to where it needs to be uh, it's uh, the air gap is coming much closer to the magnets to where I had it, and uh, it's not quite as close as this one here yet, but pretty, uh, pretty getting there. So I don't know if that is the ideal uh, pulse width for this, but it is getting better. And now I will demonstrate you. That is the uh, cap that I'm using. Huge thing. It's uh, oh, sorry, 25 microfarad. And uh, using these old kinds of capacitors here to uh, uh, hopefully have uh, a capacitor that has uh, less uh, resistance inside so that most of the energy is transferred to that uh, secondary uh, assist coil. So let's take a uh, RPM reading here without delaying things. So we are exactly at 1000 RPM. Sorry about the light reflection there. There you go, 1,002 RPM. And what I'll do now, like I did before, is I'm gonna take the assist coil away. Assist coil is away. The rotor is deaccelerating greatly. The current is going up. And as you can see on the meter there, the watts are climbing. And we are still not yet uh, at the bottom end of all this it will pretty well consume double the wattage and it will drop to uh, half the RPM. So there we are at already 6 watts, over 6 watts of input. And that's what the um, primary coil can do on its own. And that's probably because of that such a small pulse width. So uh, keep that in mind. This is maybe not the uh, ultimate uh, test, but it is, you know, somewhat of a, an interesting test. So there we are at uh, 6.3 watts. And um, let's take a new uh, uh, RPM reading here. So there we go, 495 uh, RPM. Let's call it just 500 RPM. So basically we're at half the RPM that we were. And now we will bring our, our assist coil back and see the, the acceleration takes off. And our wattage is going back down. So we'll reach back our, our three watts of input. 
And uh, there you go. I thought that was interesting. The other interesting thing is I have this um, Gauss meter uh, at my disposition here. And what it has, it has a feature that you can get a peak reading. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up the probe. And this is the probe here. And I'm going to set the probe at the back of the primary coil and try to get a peak reading uh, of magnetic field strength there. So there you go, we have uh, basically uh, 724 on the scale there. And uh, that's what I got at the back of that primary drive coil. So now I'm going to reset that. And we're going to take a reading here at the back of the uh, secondary assist coil. So I just probe around in there until I get about the maximum reading. And I'm probing here at, right at, if you want to see, right at the edges here of the, of the back of the coil. So somewhere around there, you can get a peak reading. So there is the uh, peak reading of that coil. So you see it has quite a strong magnetic field as well, and uh, is uh, quite capable of assisting quite a bit. And uh, that's that. And now if we look at our uh, RPM once again, we should be uh, back to our 1,000. There are 1,001 RPM. So there you go. I thought uh, this was uh, worthy of a video, and uh, I will post the uh, scope shot as well. I've uh, captured one frame of that, and that will be posted as well. Thanks. Bye now.